Hi guys, what's going on? Overkill999 here back with another video. And today, I am going to try my best to break down this Jurassic World Evolution 2 announcement trailer. And subscribe to that. So basically, not sure if you heard, but Jurassic World Evolution 2 has been confirmed at Summer Games Fest today. So, we're gonna watch the trailer, then we'll give my reaction as we go. So, let's get into it. Okay. We're gonna watch the trailer first, and then I'll explain it. We abused our power. We played with genetics like, uh, like it was a toy. We weren't careful. And now, ah, uh, here we are. This is a very different world. All right, so basically what we just saw there was, at the end, that was the most source. And the trailer, okay, so, play it, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so, right here. You see that, it, that's clearly the shadow of the pterodactyl, leading us to what looks like an ACU. We have some trikes, ooh, and a margasaurus. Fine, I'm pass this. So, Hold on. Let me go back a little bit. Here we go. So, we have... Let's see. One Amargo there. That looks like another one right there. Like right here. And one right there. So, we have an Amargosaurus. Pterodactyl. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Okay, so we just got a whole bunch of new stuff. They're gonna us right there. So, let's see, that, that's a new building right there, not sure what it is, that might be a substation or something, that's an enclosure, then, not sure what this is right here, but this building, all the way up top there, that's the aviary, from what I can tell. Yeah, here's a better view. Look at that. Aviary. Looks like there's some mountains. We played with genetic. Ooh. Like, uh, Look at all those trees. There's the Brachiosauruses. There's some new trees uh, everywhere. We weren't careful. And then, right here. Now, uh, here we, are. we have what appears to be like a medical jeep. And then it looks like a sick Nazuto. And then Compi. This is a very Compi drinks world. the water. But something that I like about this film is how the Come on. Let me go back one a little bit here. Okay. Or Right here, you can see like the reflection. But come on, I kind of wanted a better look at this water. Okay, so in the water, I like how you can see kind of the the different mixture of this things. Is a very it's like right there. World. 
You can see like the grass and it just looks a whole lot more natural. Basically, Grass World Evolution 2. But this is the thing that really got me excited. Right here. The Mosasaurus. Coming in 2021. And then it just spins by the screen. A world of all. Let's see. Steam. PS5. PS. Hold on. Wait. When does that come out on again? Let's see. Looks like Steam. PS5. PS4. Xbox Series X something and then come on. Let's go to Jurassic World Evolution to Steam. For real. So we have some new images to talk about. This is like the trailer that we just saw on YouTube. Ooh, that's a cool banner. Okay, so let's go ahead and read about about this game. Dress World Evolution 2 is the most anticipated sequel to the Frontier's highly successful Jurassic World Evolution. Building upon the groundbreaking and immersive 2018 management simulation, it introduces a compelling new narrative campaign incredible new features and an awe and a awe inspiring new dinosaurs brought to life with captivity authenticity together to create an expanded construction more customizable options the result is an even bigger and better authentic Jurassic World game so basically it's going to be more realistic, I suppose. It's gonna look more real. Yeah, it's gonna look more real. New customizations, new dinosaurs, new features. But from the trailer, though, it kind of looked more like a sanctuary rehabilitation dinosaur center where they just take care of them. But surely they're gonna have. A, like the park like the management simulation park part of the game as well right I mean that was a major thing in evolution features immerse yourself in compelling and or original narrative after the earth shattering events of fallen kingdom other efforts to conserve and contain dinosaurs Dr. Ian Malcolm and Claire Deering Okay. Let's see, genre, simulation, and strategy. Huh. Okay, so it is gonna be a simulation management game. Okay. That's cool. Your own Jurassic World. Take control of even deeper management tools and creative options. Construct and customize new buildings. And flux your managerial muscle across never see, never see mm, locations ranging from the dense forests to rocky deserts. Rescue bio. Ooh, that's cool. Rescue and bioengineer. So, are we gonna have expeditions or? Will we have to actually, like, tra find dinosaurs in the wild and transfer them into your sanctuary? And you can build up your little park thing there. Hmm. Including highly requested flying and marine reptiles. But the keyword there is reptiles, which means we're going to get more than the Mosasaurus and we're going to get more than the Pterodactyls and Pteranodons. So I'm thinking is, if you haven't seen Jurassic World Live, we have the Quetzalcoatlus, uh, the Syngia thingy, 
Trying to think of what else. I don't really know. I'm sure there's more, but I really can't think of any right now. Can you watch them seek territory fight and enter watch them seek territory fight and interact? Ooh. So apparently from what I've heard, I haven't played the DLCs, but apparently when Tyrannosons break out, they just fly over your island and they if you pretend they don't exist and they're gone. So I wonder if this I wonder if they'll if they break out they'll actually interact with other dinosaurs and act and possibly like you know how the screen that says different things that are going on so like the dinosaur power outage like fence broken path not connected all that I wonder if there's gonna be like a feature of that with like pteranodon attack like but yeah Pterodon, pteranodon attack or something. And at least play Chaos 3. Chaos mode lets you play through key moments of your favorite films. Huh. My favorite's built a little bit wrong from where I, where I live in the US. FAV. Eh, maybe that's not right, I don't know. With a twist, experience what if scenarios in the iconic Jurassic World and Jurassic Park films. Ooh. With each level, it's across arrows and locations from all the movies. Immerse yourself at the heart of the Jurassic World franchise and see how things turn out. You are the put of helm, managing new challenges with unpredictable outcomes. So, like, in Jurassic World, could I do something about the Indominus Rex escaping and it may have never... So, like, what if the Indominus Rex never escaped? But anyways, we've seen the trailer, so now let's get into some of these images, shall we? We don't have too many to go over. Ah, uh, so not, though. Eh, alright. Let's see here. We have the A. Nazutoceratops, which just looks like it's land down. Hold on. Okay. And that's a bit better. So, a bit different. But you have the general beak here. And then you have the horns coming out with a very nice skin pattern. Kind of like all rocky. Horny with some nice orange and gray. Alright, next image. Hey, it's a compi. But we definitely have some different type of trees with some different terrain in the background here. You can tell that's kind of rocky. I mean you already see in the trailer that there it was like deserty, arid. Which me, which leads me to believe that we are going to be getting some, not only new creatures, but new biomes. As in here. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in. Can I zoom in on this image? I really don't know. Um, what's your toe? Alright, um, I would zoom in, but apparently I can't right now. Kind of go the best I can. So it kind of has that Jurassic World feel to it. Kind of like you starting on East Lapena now, when you're where you have the Innovation Center with like a fancy path right down the middle. But, huh? But what that looks like is I think like an aviary. Like a more modern a looking type of aviary. We have a helipad here, helipad here. Hmm. So my initial guess is we have the ACU and then a the expedition, but that could be wrong. A home a new building here. 
we can see that the viewing platforms are still the same. We have... That might be in events. But we have the Ham Creation Lab right there. That hasn't changed. And then... What appears to look like a new entrance and new buildings. Okay. Now this is a really good look at the Amargosaurus right here. So... We have cactus, so that means this is in a desert, and the grass is all dry, and a nice plateau, hilly side barrier right here, and then right here, we have what appears to be like a viewing gallery, but it does, it looks a bit different. Then here we have the triceratops. With new foliage trees here. We have like mountains. And over here we ha have ourselves a... Looks like a gyrosphere area. Hold on. And then there's this weird little building here with like a camera, a security camera on it. And then right here. Okay, I can kind of tell... It okay, this is still in this desert. Same thing to the Margosaurus here. Yet, it looks to be at a different time of day. Which is interesting. Yeah, you can kind of see the viewing platforms there. And then, that logo there is the... What's it called? The Research Fossil logo? Research Center Fossil Center logo. So if we have a fossil center, we're going to have the Expedition Center. But that's all the images. So I think that is all I have to cover for this video. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye, guys.